Mi senayer de te canari e colinguist sot in questo episodio kashochem nalitint sicirianera e albanizrat mentendrungo in gluchen arbreche e sicirias. Uyam martin di maggio o tinuts ne gluchen arbreche, uleven girtere, marri londra, e yam anglo arbreche. Chore yime di discendenza ist sundachstina, o Santa Cristina Gella, ne chor shume vogel dans palermes in Sicilia. E kam shum kusherint mi demete chore arbreshvet, o piana deri albanesi in italiano, uh, o fiki ne kam masru natar. Kam ne masters na descrizioni te gluchet in pericolo destinzione o gluchet ce jane sosen. Allora jam sociolinguist me specialistica per gluchet minoritaria. Jam shum content te junioch e te participar sot me juve per ce duamir arbristin, sicirianin e albanisen. Uh, tu che mi di part uh, participantra ne liti sicirian e ne albanis kiptar. Allora ne che mi participantra. Ciao a tutti, io sono Roberto e sono di Taormina. Eh, Hai quasi 34 anni. Eh, parlo italiano, sic siciliano di Taumina, provincia di Messina, eh, inglese e svedese. Presidente di Gilda, uniamo Franzi, gli è in Austria, uniamo a Cipria, per vedere Scipes, le varianti Tosk, frase di Germanist, Anglist, Frangist, Luxemburgist, Pacolandist e Pac Italist. Okay, in the first activity, you're going to see a sentence. I'm going to read the sentence. It's in Arbericht um, of Santa Cristina Gella. And I'm going to ask uh, Franz to understand the, to see if he can understand the grammar and try and figure out what you can understand from the sentence. Um, and I'm going to ask Roberto to look for the Sicilian words and see if he can understand which are the Sicilian words and what they mean for him. Okay, okay. so... Okay. We can start with the first sentence. Mema furatiarti catremace ce se hai in miste triesa, mosino se rodari in thicket, purgetat, lugicellet, estiavucat. Yeah, so Franz, I will give you uh, a few minutes to write down what you can understand from the Albanian grammar. And Roberto, I will give you a few minutes as well, uh, if you can write down what you understand, what you think might be Sicilian in this sentence. I'll read it again. Mema furatiarti catremace ce se chayen misht te triesa, ma se no, se rordarien thicket, burgetat, lugicellet, estiavucat. Okay, so go ahead and write down what you think you can understand from that. So the first word mema means uh, mother in Albanian. And yes. then I recognized also Katre um, Mace, which means for um, cats or kittens. Yes. To eat, um, that eat, eat, um, yeah. That eat meat at the table. Yeah. And then um, I understood also Thicket, which means. Um, knives yeah and also the lugicellet i understood from that lug luga which means a spoon in albanian yeah. yeah perfect that's exactly right and so then the remaining elements are sicilian including the icelle is a sicilian sicilian element within the word lug which you said means spoon it's, I mean, it's not easy. It's not sounding so much. I, 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 those are all of those like kitchen related, all those, the yeah. last ones. Yeah. But it's hard actually. I'm, uh, I, I'm not having a, a hint. Your chat that seems something that could, but I'm, I'm maybe, I, you know, if I knew the, the translation, I could pick up the connection a little bit easier, but like this, it's hard. Uh, so I'm not having a, a hint. I don't know if it's Mosino means like it's a, it's, it's a word or it's like, uh, 
even if yeah exactly is it if not if okay. not yeah if not okay. even if yeah. because we would say ma se no exactly so yeah, ma se, yeah that's probably the the, the thing that i <laughs> could pick most and then furat furatiar is a sicilian verb you might say it differently you might not have the same sound exactly i guessed a little bit mama but quatre uh, looks french to me read uh, like like that well, because we would say quattro but quatre uh, it, it's similar but fugatearte uh, uh, what can i ask what, what it means to you or so fugatear uh, means to like shoo shoo away so uh, france said that the mum did something to four cats that were eating meat on the on the table F because f fuga it's meant like when something uh, w w i mean food fuggire in italian means to flee or in this case you meant that she, mm, she told them to to go away yes exactly or, yeah. now we got um what you said fugatiar means so then this first sentence mama fugatiar ti catramace che che hayen miste triessa so the mother told to go four cats yeah. that were eating meat on the table and then you got masino mosino um so then what do you think you understand from hordar is is burchetta something but it i mean it you know we say forchetta for fork is exactly. something related to that yeah. is it okay it's, it's yeah exactly uh, the, the other two at the moment they're not ringing any bell so stiavuca comes from stal uh, stagliari avuca the the mouth uh -huh. avuca okay yeah but um like oh like a towel yes exactly so oh, okay so we would say stuya stuyari avuca yes uh, exactly stuyari. so yeah. is that a word or it's a mix of word uh so like a, a name or an, or an, an noun and a verb is it like a is it a, is it the, it's the name for towel stiavuca yes yes napkin. okay napkin napkin yes yeah the the thing okay. that you wipe the mouth with yes yeah. yes exactly because exactly. for us it's it's the verb we we don't have a we, we call them we would say tuvagia also like for towel proper towel uh and that because to yaria uka it's the verb so yes. to wipe them out yeah we got the noun from the verb from the verb yes yeah and and so now we have the mother told um the four cats that were eating meat to leave the table um if not they would do something to the knives the forks the napkins and uh the spoon but this is a different type of spoon because it has this icella in it this is a, a a diminutive so it is a spoon anyway but a proper spoon it's a spoon but yeah. it has a, a diminutive in it so it's little spoons because icella is a diminutive in arbrech that comes from sicilian okay i think your yours is without the l say uh, we would we would say like uh uh spoon is cucchiaio in italian or cucchiara cu or in this case the small ones would be cu cucchiarini uh, little spoons but yeah. you can you can use other things like uh like for other words we have the thing like ceddi or uh, exactly exactly yes not with spoon but yes we we have it so now we have the mother told the four cats that were eating meat on the table to leave because if not, something will happen to the knives, uh, forks, little spoons, and napkins. And there we've now we are left with hordar. Hordar. Yeah. So you will not say the first element of this word the same way. You were. Mm -hmm. It will sound different, but it was something that will happen to those cutlery: the knives, forks, spoons, and napkins. Because yes, uh, to 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 yes. So because they would uh, make them dirty, right? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. How do you say dirty? Le, le uh, lodo, 
Eh. It's when it's something but to 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 dirty something uh, it's ludari. Exactly. So rodar. Okay. Exactly. Yeah, well done. Ludari. Allora traducere uh, a frase in gluchen siciliano and in gluchen albanese. So let's uh, translate this sentence into Sicilian and uh, Albanian. Yemi pronto? Oh. Okay, Franz. Nana largoi kater matset che pohanin mishin bitavolinan se prendrushe doti bonin pis thikat piruint lugut de pezetat. Very different. Pezet. Eh, Roberto? A mamma fici fuiri quattro yatti che stavano manciando canne sopra tavolo, a cementi yatti vi stralludati cuteddi, fucchetti, cucchiarini e mappini. Wow, also very different. Yeah. <laughs> Fici fuiri, furatiari. Yes. Eh, bravo. Allora, continuare con la prossima frase. On this one, we're going to listen to a recording. It's my cousins speaking to each other. And I just want you to kind of uh, listen and try and figure out what you think the context is, what's happening in this uh, dialogue. Don't worry too much about analyzing the sentence. Just try and pick out whatever you can from it. Okay, and then uh, and then afterwards we will uh, discuss it. So uh, we ready to hear it? E mi pronto? Oh, oh. pronto? Eh, pronto punes? Non dico che si ascolterete. Che cade me possa un velotto? Solo pronto compagnani e meno. Come cosa vi dice? Oh, infatti. Te si arrompare il mostretto, so vieni a tomare di chiara. Ti ascolterete? Oh, che lì? Va bene. Okay, <laughs> it's a little fast. Do you want to hear it again? One time? Okay. Yes. Okay, please. Pronto, Punez, non dico che si ascolterete. Che cade me possa un velotto? So pronto, compagnani e meno, come cosa vi dice? Oh, infatti. Te si arrompare il nostro letto, so vieni a tomare di chiara... Mm -hmm. Oh, che lì, va bene, perché non stai there. È giusto? Oh. Ok, Franz, maybe uh, you could start us off. What did you understand from this? Uh, so, they were talking about um, cousins, I think. They were talking about family in general, but especially about cousins, because I heard kusherir, kusherin, two times. And then the female voice said, yes, um, which means you have law in Albanian, which doesn't make sense. But uh, those are the Albanian bits I got from the audio. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, and uh, uh, Roberto, did, did you get anything? I got, prob I'm not sure because it wasn't easy. Uh, I heard the, the girl saying infatti, mm. I think, and and uh, the guy talking, I think, it, I was trying to, to pick something up. I think he said something, when he said lotto, lo, or lotto, was it, is it the, like the vegetable, vegetable area or not? <laughs> yeah, um, it's not. No. It? <laughs> no, no, no. Like no, we have no. or, orto for that. One. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. Sure. Um, shall we see it? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Here you go. Can you make it a bit bigger? Is it possible? No. Oh, okay. Fine. No problem. Okay. So I will say, Epran dopo nestra natica veste iot cucherira cagare me posten di lotto. Se ho pranto accompagnarmi minuto, manco se ho un dotto nese. Oh, infatti, se ti ha in Palermo, mi threat, se ho vigna, e te mar, e te chiede, te io coscerere. Oh, che lic, va benissimo, ma per chi è questa idea? Che è giusto? Oh. So the yellow is the Sicilian bits and the yeah. white is the Albanian bits. So maybe I'll give you a couple of minutes to look at it and let's just see if we can get the context a bit better. Eh, pronto Punez, non dico che vi si ascolterete, che cade me possa un velotto, 
Mm-hmm. Sopra un tuo compagno di me, non lo sapevi niente. No, infatti. Oh. Ti si è rompa la nostra rete, se vuoi te marro ti chiedo... Ti ho detto che c'è Oh, che lì c'è. Va bene. Perché non stai dentro? È giusto. Oh. Ok, do you want to have another go? Um, France? Um, actually, I can start guessing. So, a pran uh, means close to somewhere. Nestre means tomorrow. When you're going to see your cousin, I think. And then I'm lost for the rest of the sentence. Um, yeah. Aha. Uh-huh. Um, and then what about line three? Yeah, the third sentence. The third sentence. Um, when you're arriving, I think in Palermo, uh, call me uh, because then I can come and pick you up um, and maybe s- bring you to your cousin. Yeah. I don't understand the kieg. Yeah, yes. exactly. And then uh, the fourth sentence, kelic, which I mentioned, which the words make sense in Albanian, but this uh, composition does not. So you have law and then mpchen. So maybe mpchen. I like something so, yeah Th- this idea exactly yes so yeah exactly I like this idea yeah and then um roberta what do you what can you get from it so now that i heard franz i understand that like he's talking about the day after tomorrow dopo domani right yeah. dopo dopo domani um and so yeah they're trying to he's trying he's telling the lot to now understand it is talking about the eight at the time, yeah. right? Of the day. Uh, actually, I'm not picking up easily on the first part of this after cousins. We, uh, also, cousins, we would, we would say cuscini. Yeah, but, cuscini, uh, yeah. So it's similar. Compagnar, it's like uh, to bring someone. So. Uh, to accompany someone to a place. So, because Manco, I, I, I understand Manco, I'm not easily uh, trying to find the context of the, the end of this sentence. Yeah, but then se, I. I Sebundo se Tunisia means um, if, it, if it becomes if too good. early. Oh, okay. Uh, uh, then, uh, yeah, I understand that she is happy also with sentence number four. That she's happy about the idea that she likes the ideas yes uh, because uh, palermo it's palermo and uh, i i kind of un- understood like I th- is he talking about also like your mother and your cousins or not tamar no 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 no, no, no. tamar okay. is albanian and um france okay, it's a- sentence. yeah yeah so in the first line um, so then, the day after tomorrow, if you're going to go to your cousin, cagare, get down, go down, okay. cagare, with the bus, me posten di lotto, with the bus at eight o'clock. So oh. then I will, when then I will accompany you for a minute, as long as it doesn't get too early. And then she said yes, in in fact yes. And then he uh-huh. said, uh, if you arrive in Palermo, let uh, call me because then I will come and get you and bring you to your cousin and then okay. for then in four she said yes you are right lick literally means law but that's how we say you are right Kelik, you have law hai ragione hai ragione then she said okay uh, i like it like this va uh, it's okay. good like this ma perché stai idea i like this idea and then he said is it not correct is it not correct ne giusto uh, Yes. Giusto, giusto. And then she said, yeah. Yeah. So uh, something that's interesting about it is the word for bus. Our word for bus is posta. Um, okay. Because the first buses that we had in our village were actually uh, vans that brought the post. Okay. Yeah. So that's that. Well done. Thanks. The, the, fifth, the fifth one seems like... Uh, we would say ne or nie depends also from where in Sicily. More from Palermo, actually, you would say nie, nie giusto, like is it not right? 
Eh, but we say ge giusto. Ge giusto. Ge giusto. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> exactly. What does what does in the third sentence kieg kieg mean? Kier means like literally to carry you. Okay. Like kier ginde me posten, like the to take the people on the bus. So he said, like, I will take you to your cousin. To your cousin. To kiere, to your kusherere. Yeah. And it's single for female. Your your female cousin. Kusherere. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So that was a little little bit complicated, but we got there in the end. Okay. So, uh, continuare. We will go to the next phrase now. And this is a little bit like the first uh, the first exercise that we did. I will read it, and then I would ask Franz to analyze the Albanian aspect of it, and ask you, Roberto, to pick out the Sicilian. So now you've had a little bit of practice. You've kind of figured out a little bit how it works. <laughs> some of the some of the differences. Um, one clue I will give right now uh, that we've already seen in a couple of words is that the Sicilian l sound we have it as r r okay and mm -hmm. the uh when we say j we write it xh unfortunately um okay. and also and also uh when the sicilian word begins with g or used to begin with g and they dropped the g in modern sicilian we have mm -hmm. also, also r okay so if you see r it might be either a G that disappeared in some Sicilian dialects, or it could be an L. Okay. okay. So I will I will read this sentence uh, two times, and then I will give you a couple of minutes to uh, analyze it, and then we will we will come back. Okay. Ish nebur cerite kiatsa, gkarane satebleya mozgye, yet parputsa ishek pak perche kaponye si. Nguerch. Ish sempre rajarme e sidiarme. Cavalint spovisen. Spine kastrumber. Ripan grun e me petit. Allora e thresen famiglia te tich. Maranatrat. Okay? One mm -hmm. more time. One more time. Ish te niaburre. Cerrite chiazza. Ngakarane satablea mosgye, yet parputsa ishech pak per chekaponye si, unguerch, ish sempri rajarme, e isidiarme, cavalint spovisen, spine kastrumber, rimpangren e mepitit, allora e thresen famiglia te tich, maranatrat. So I will give you a few minutes now to uh, analyze it and write down uh, what you think are the Albanian elements, what you think are the Sicilian elements. Okay? For me, I have just a few words that sound familiar. One is actually family. Um, yeah, but it's, I'm not in the context can I ask it's boor like village or no, city no. town no. okay friends uh, go ahead so actually I recognize a lot of sentences but I am lost with some words and maybe Roberto can help um, mm -hmm. so there was a man who stays at the Chiazza uh, he has not eaten maybe because he cannot buy anything he has no shoes um, he cannot see perche perche is like because is it because okay. and then i don't understand anything at that sentence and then isht he 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 was sempre i rajarm esidarm I cannot understand. Kavalind spovisen. I cannot understand. Spine e kastrumber means his house is sloping or leaning. <laughs> In Albanian, um, ripangren e me pitit. 
he stays uh, without eating. Mepitit, Alura, I don't understand. And then Thresen Familia, the T means his family calls him something. Maranatrat. Sure. Yeah. yeah. So if we go back to the uh, beginning of it, um, if you got up to um, Chiazza, you could say that part again up until Chiazza. So there was a man who stays at the square. Exactly. At the square. Okay. Yeah. The, and and Isht is there is. Yeah. Okay. So now we can see it in uh, which elements are Sicilian. Um, so you, you, what was the next thing you said, Franz? He stays without eating because he cannot buy anything. Okay. So he cannot buy anything is correct. And he stays without something is correct. But the word is not eating. This, this yellow word is a Sicilian word. Is it like money? Yes. Okay. It, exactly. it, it, it's gra grana or it's also yeah. in Italian, actually, grana. Yeah, exactly. So then, then uh, yeah, go on. No, no, I, because also thanks to France, I could also pick up a, more, a, more, a lot on, in the context. And so I understand that he, I'm not sure if he's, they're intending blind Guercio, or like uh, when you have a physical disability and you are not. But Guercio should be should be blind. It's, you, you, it's one one eyed. One eyed. Okay, Guercio. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> or yeah, or almost blind because we want yeah Guercio. Yeah, you, you even someone is like this could be Guercio. Exactly. Yes. Yeah, Guercio. Guercio. Yeah. So then moving on from Guercio, I don't know if it's he is he's or. He is always yes, sempre. But Rajarm and Sijarm, I'm not sure if they are. And this, these are these are closer to Sicilian. You said so. I mean, yes, yes. these are Cavallin. So Rajar is a verb which we have turned into an adjective. Okay, uh, uh, angry. Yes, Rajato Ra yes. because of Raja. Yes, okay. And the same for the next one. Yes, he yes, I was thinking about that. See, it's like annoyed. Si si exactly. Sidiato. Sidiato. Uh, sad. Yeah. It means sad for us. Oh, okay. But yes. Comes from Sicilian. When you say when you are sidiato in Sicilian, it means like you are annoyed by something. Exactly. In, in, uh, in Sicilian, if you would use like sad, you probably would say... Maybe also sidiato, but sidiato is, is something has annoyed you, or we would say tristi, tristi, yeah, yeah. like triste. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So then uh, he's always angry and sad. And then yes. maybe this is a reason for the next part of the sentence. Something spovisen. Cavalint. Cavalint, it's because... I mean, if I'm really, uh, e really trying to find something, no, we have, but it's not, there's no context. So, cover. So, Franz, um, the T is a, a plural in Albanian as well, right? Yes. Yeah. So, the T on this is a plural. So, all you need to understand is the Kavalin. But Kavalin, it seems, uh, I mean, small horse. I don't exactly. know if it says. Okay. <laughs> Horses. Ca cava we would say cavalli in Italian, cavaddi in Sicilian. Yeah. yeah. And then okay. Spovisen is Albanian. I don't, That's why we I don't were get it. talking about going on the slope. That's why, because he goes with something related with, with going on the horse on the slope. Uh, so Spovisen means they die. Oh, okay. Yeah, there's horses die. And then Spina Kaströmber, he has like a crooked house. Franz got that. And then okay. the next bit, the next bit, Franz. Ripangren, eme tit. So he stays without eating and without something. Pit it. And with, and with. And then this oh. is a Sicilian word. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, so I'm sorry. Pitit, it's like uh, pititu or appetito. It so it means he has like no, he's not having the hunger. Or he anyway, has he, has, he, he has the hunger, yes. Yeah. Allura, so then, 
then um, he he gets called by the family, by his family maybe. Yes. Of yes, of him. Yes. To to eat at his place at their. Pl I mean, maga maganat. Because we would say to eat, like to. I'm not sure if it has a, um, it has any context because to eat is no no. no, no I, it's so this is an example of when the Sicilian L becomes mm. R. Okay, um, I don't know at the moment. Okay, um, shall we see the English translation? Okay. Okay. Yes. There is a man who stays at the square. He doesn't have money to buy anything. He walks without shoes. He sees a little because he only has one eye. He is one-eyed. He is always mm -hmm. angry and sad. His horses die. His house is crooked. He doesn't have food and is hungry. Therefore, they call his family the cursed ones. Cursed ones. Yeah, Maranatrat. Yeah. Okay, maybe Maliritti or ma Maliritti, like Maledetti in Italian, maybe, yeah. because yeah. cursed. It's not easy to, to link it, but yeah, now, now I, I mean, yeah, yeah, it's an interesting mix of, of both the languages because also thanks to France, I could pick up more in the context and then use my hints to understand. Exactly, exactly. But also, but also for me, it's not straightforward because I have to make sense of it because it's not standard Albanian, so to speak. Mm -hmm. So there are Albanian elements that I have to adjust so I can understand them exactly yeah like isht you said isht means he was but isht means there there is okay ish near means there is and also yet pa reputs we would say et pa kaputs yeah so these are the adjustments yeah exactly so what we're going to do is we're going to do what we did in the first exercise and translate it so that we can hear it in sicilian and tosk Tosca Albania. So I'll read it again. Esca eka zgled pameta. Isht nyabur cherite kiatsa. Gakarane sa tablea mosgye. Yet parputse ishech pak per chekaponyesi. Nguerch. Ich sempri irrajarme e sidiarme. Kavalint spovisen. Spine kostrumber. Ripangren emepitit. Allora e tres in famiglia te tich, maranatrat. Franz, mende me gegis pameta. You can let me hear it again. Ash nje burte sheshi, nuk a lek për të blerë gjëra, etsen pa këputs, she pak se ka një sy, ësht qor, ësht gjithmon i nevrikosur dhe i mërzituj, kuajt i ngordhen, shtëpin e ka të shëmbur, ri pa ngrën dhe me uri, Prandai familia e ti e qua in t'malkuar. Ok, ok, Roberto, let's hear the Sicilian. C'è in cristiano che sta una chiazza, non avi soldi, grana, piccattari sinenti, cammina senza scappi, ci vidi picca picchiavi un solo occhio, e guercio. È sempre raggiato e sidiato. I suoi cavalli morono, la sua casa è sbilenca, non avi manciari, avi pititto, fami. Picchisto, la sua famiglia chiamano i maliri. Bello. <laughs> okay, so we finished uh, the three exercises now. Perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so it all went well. I really uh -huh. enjoyed watching you engage in those exercises. This is the first time we used this format, so that was very interesting to see you collaborating uh, in deciphering Arborage. So what do you think, guys? Uh, how did you like it? How much did you understand? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I mean, I like doing it a lot because for me it showed um, that our language is uh, also valuable on its own. It's not just a mix of Sicilian and Albanian. It's got its own features. We say things a little differently sometimes from Sicilian, even if the word has a Sicilian origin. Um, so that for me is very valuable because um, I very much value my own language and I value the connections that it has with both Albanian and Sicilian, but but I also strive very hard to get people to understand that um, it isn't just a mix of two two languages. And a lot of people claim that if they can speak Albanian and Italian, they can understand Arvrist. And I think that 
is not exactly the case. <laughs> I don't know what you guys think. Um, Franz, what did you think of it? So I think uh, our bridge is very interesting because when you look at it uh, briefly, it looks like Albanian, but when you hear it, it is different. So uh, you can catch some words, some keywords, but you would not understand the whole sentence because the second example was uh, really nice. There was a dialogue happening and uh, I could not understand it fully with my Albanian. So I think it is a, a language on its own. Sure, you can pick it up with some Albanian if you see it written, but uh, when you hear it, it's, it's something completely different. Yeah, and um, how did it sound to you? Yeah, it, it actually sounded a bit more uh, familiar with certain accents, like it, it, because it sounded like uh, if you were from Malta, because I have a, I have many tourists here that are, they come to to see Sicily, and when they speak in English or even when they speak Maltese, but when, when they are speaking in English or Italian, I can pick up their accents and ask them, are you from Malta? So you, when you were reading Arbresh, you, you sounded from, from Malta. I mean, something familiar anyway to me. I think that's really interesting because um, I've always liked Maltese for its, exactly for its combination of Sicilian and Arabic vocabulary and the way that the Sicilian uh, words in Maltese are like almost 50%, I think, of don't get me, don't, Maltese people don't get angry with me, but like uh, something between 40 to 50% of the words are Sicilian origin and they combine them in a unique way into uh, a sort of Arabic grammar. So for mm -hmm. me to hear that my language sounds like Maltese is like kind of makes me feel quite happy because I like Maltese for the exact same reason that I, I see a similarity with my language, even though uh -huh. the mix for mine is Albanian and Sicilian rather than Arabic. But that's really interesting. 